first of all, none of these matches really surprise me. When you have a ton of top seeds playing young guys, of course the top seeds are going to do well. Two that stood out to me were in the Hachinov Batista Agut match and also the Damon Auer Nadal match. Damon Auer Nadal, I really thought that this was going to be a closer match, but ultimately uh, the Spaniard just rolls through the young Australian, one, two, and four in front of his home crowd. We had Ana Samova, Danielle Collins, and Francis Tiafo all through to the fourth round with a chance to make it to the quarterfinals. Well, I definitely did not see this coming from Danielle Collins and Ana Samova. I picked some upsets, but a chance to play in the quarterfinals is pretty big. Probably Kiachnov's loss to RBA really hurt the most. Obviously, I had Kiachnov in my Turnitopia final, so I'm, I'm a little salty. Also, Luca Pui, he was so bad at Hopman Cup, and to see him make the fourth round, very, very surprising. So I'll throw him on that list. Um, Hatchinov, Bautista Agut, I also thought this was going to be a closer match, and I thought that the young Russian would come out on top. Um, the Spaniard, once again, had other plans. Bautista Agut comes out on top in straight sets. And now we got big Francis TFO, great draw against uh, Grigor Dimitrov, looking to continue his run.